This is part two of my videos building and robot with high dynamic. Um, please read the description for additional information. So what I done is I took these hoverboard motors and these little Chinese brushless controller to build a robot and uh, it times out that this brushless controller uh, doesn't break the wheel. So uh, after accelerating, it is a, a, a free wheeling. If you if you disable the controller or stop uh, the the signal, set the signal to zero, it will free wheel until it stops by itself. So for high dynamic, I want to break the wheel, and um, this is uh, for fast cornering or for fast uh, changing of the direction. Um, uh, to do this, I'm using these um, three MOSFETs, uh, logic level type IRL540, and I uh, control the uh, MOSFETs uh, through my uh, program. It's a simple program with only two options. Uh, option one is um, accelerating the wheel for three seconds, and then option two is to brake or not to break the wheel with the user button on the on the right side over here. So if I break the wheel, you see it on the fourth line in the display, and you hear the buzzer. Every time you hear the buzzer, you know it is break. When, it, when I break the wheel, I power on the MOSFETs, and the MOSFETs shorten these three lines of the of the hoverboard motor to the ground. So. Um, from the software you have to ensure that you, when you break, first you disable the uh, brushless controller and vice versa. If you are accelerating the wheel, you first have to shut off your braking MOSFETs. So now I am show you the function. Um, first time I will do an acceleration for 3 seconds and then set the input signal to zero. So. Here we go. This was freewheeling without brake and now with brake. The difference with brake. You see that? Again without braking. Freewheeling and now with brake. So I'll show you that from another angle. Maybe from over here. So first, without braking, freewheeling, and now the same with brake after three seconds. So stop at the point. So if it's it's freewheeling now, and if I brake, so you see it's hard to turn because. The hoverboard wheel as a generator is shortened to ground and it's hard to turn. This is easy to turn, freewheeling. So to my opinion it is highly recommended to use an external electrical brake with three cheap MOSFETs. Um, uh, if you use uh, these um, Chinese brushless controller board for doing some roboting, uh, for building a robot with a high dynamic range. Okay, this this was part two of my videos for building a robot with maximum dynamic dy dynamic. Sorry. So for more information, read the description below the video.